G'day guys and girls, it's Grant here from the Best Fox Pro Staff Team here in Australia and today I'm going to do a bit of what I like to call fox fishing I call it that because I'm in a place where I'm not allowed to shoot or hunt so basically I'm fishing for foxes, I'm just going to do a bit of a whistle see if I can get one up to me uh, and if I can do that, mission accomplished this makes for real good practice especially for people that, you know haven't been out there before and are a bit unsure about themselves when they are whistling. You know, find a place that whether you're there to hunt or not, just, just pull over on the side of the road near some bushland and do some whistling. I'll be using the uh, SS whistle and the original whistle. The SS whistle is a Tenerfield type whistle. I notice a lot of people have dramas with these, so I'll also try and do a bit of a tutorial on how to use them. Uh, beautiful location, it's a bit chilly today. Uh, we're just in the start of autumn here in Australia. And if this is a sign of things to come for winter, then, <laughs> then we're in trouble. But uh, you know, I'll give you guys a gaze of where I am. You know, fairly open bushland. You know, lots of little hidey holes. You know, like that. You know, so a fox really could pop out of anywhere. If it's got half a brain in this weather, it won't pop out at all. As I said, I'll do a bit of a tutorial with this SS whistle. For those that can't use it, you know, I've, I've heard of it called the spit whistle before. Um, and it's pretty much the same as any Tenerfield type whistle. Uh, perseverance is the key. Just keep trying. Doesn't matter if you can't get it straight away, you know, it takes you a day, a week, you know, whatever, keep trying. It's once you get it and you call up that first fox, you'll be utterly surprised in yourself. Basically you want your tongue along the ridge, the top hole and the bottom hole in your mouth. I probably recommend using earplugs whistle, my ears are ringing after that, these are probably the loudest whistles I've ever heard. Try tilting them up, holding it up, flat, you know, move it about. Uh, I'll keep the camera here for a bit and keep giving it a toot, we'll see if we can get a fox to come up. You know, you can see I'm not really hidden here, I'm just sitting against some rocks. Um, I'm not trying to hide behind anything, tuck myself in. Uh, in my experience, I've sort of found it a bit better to sit in front of things. That way, when you are moving, you know, you're not popping out from behind something. The sun's just coming out from behind some clouds, absolutely beautiful. I like to use the SS whistle for as long as I can and if they ever look like they're losing interest I swap to the uh, <laughs> magpies are giving him grief. I swap to the original whistle. <coughs> Unfortunately, he's gone behind that rock, but he's going to come up right in front of me. That's if he doesn't smell me first.
But like I said, no harm, no foul. Couldn't have shot him anyway. He caught wind of me and he says, I'm not coming back. Now at the moment he's probably only sitting about a hundred yards, so if he had the rifle it wouldn't be a drama taking the shot. And away he goes. Well, like I said, you know, no harm, no foul at all. A good bit of practice. Um, as you can see, he come. I got the wind blowing in my face from this direction, and unfortunately, he come from that direction. So he would have got to just over there and smelt me. So there's one lesson learnt. Um, yeah, I already know that. But as I said, for people that aren't too sure about fox whistling or fox behaviour and how things work, that's yeah you know, the perfect lesson you can learn, I suppose. Would have been ideal if I had one come from this direction. Um, because you know, I've had them come right up to my feet before. Um, especially if you're a bit better camouflaged. Uh, a little bit of face paint or something like that doesn't go astray. Anyway, we'll have a couple more toots on the uh, SS whistle. See if there's anything else out there interested. And then we'll um, call it a day. I suppose you give these things a bit of a clean. Just put it over your sleeve there and give it a rub. And always make sure there's nothing in the holes, front or back. A bit of grass or a stick up and around there um, usually gives it a good clean and sorts it right out. I'm going to give you a look at that sunset again, it's absolutely perfect. Like I said, that's what it's all about. Well, it doesn't look like anything else is going to come out to play, um, so I might pack it in. I hope you know this video has helped someone out there. out there and try. So you don't need to have a rifle in hand to whistle up foxes. It can be done anywhere, anytime. Uh, give it a go guys. Let me hunt. Take care.